All right, ladies and germs. Day 10 of hiding in the bunker. Seagal is closing in on me. I don't know for sure, but the McDonald's down the street has had three blacked out Cadillacs in front of it for like six hours. I know how to put two and two together. Well, while I start reinforcing my bunker's door, you guys go and enjoy episode three of Steven Seagal's Law Man, because as always, this is Red Eye Reviews. We start this episode learning that cops can be named Buddy, which it just demands respect. It's such a name. But they're in the car together, and it's been many, many moons since we felt the touch of another, and we are getting frisky. I turn on the tube. Who do you think I see? Um, Harrison Ford. This guy's a little bit taller, a little bit better looking. I don't know about that. You look pretty good. I'm a sexy as that car, baby. Let's rub my phone together. That is a horrible image. It is, and I'm so sorry I put it in all your brains. But our first man to go and get is this guy. Our suspect allegedly choked his wife out with his bare hands. According to the police report filed by the wife. And uh, let me get this straight. A man chokes out his wife but doesn't want to be on TV and you respect his wishes and blur his face out. But a dude who got in a fight with a cop last episode is plastered all over the place. Got it. This guy does not want to come out of the residence. Uh, Bring a tow truck in there and pretend like we're going to tow his truck away. Cool. That might get him out. So, the gang knows where the guy lives, but they don't have a warrant to get inside the house. So, you know, if we want to get him outside the house, we got to do something so we can grab him. And seeing we are with somebody who makes a living in the movies, we decide to act a bit ourselves. Yeah, we title this plan the tow truck fake out, which it's not nearly as good as the tow truck trickery, but you know, they didn't ask me. Buddy and I will take close cover two houses to the south. Mike and Rico will drive the tow truck to our suspect's vehicle. We get another visit by the glorious graphics department. I, I guess they have to spend that money somehow. Good thing they circled everything I'm supposed to look at, otherwise I would get bored. But we get a tow truck. The cops take one look at the guy and they're like, shoot. There is no way the baddie's going to believe I am a tow truck driver. Because, well, first of all, I am way too good looking and I'm way too clean. I'm too clean, man. Can I get a little dirty? Trying to play the part, you know. Yeah, that's what I call method acting right there, boy. I also love that the truck driver, can't, he can't figure out if he should be, like, offended by this or not. I'm not trying to mess with you, man. I just... <laughs> Tow truck drivers make good livings, folks. That's nothing to be ashamed about. As soon as we see Joaquin and those guys roll up, we need to get out and position ourselves. He's going to be so pissed off. This is going to be funny. <laughs> So we head to the house. The cops are like giddy little school children that could hardly contain themselves. It just goes to show you that no matter what age you are, everybody loves playing with trucks. So they start to pretend to hook the guy's truck up. There's only one problem. Uh, they don't actually know how to tow a truck. You look too clean to be a tow truck driver, but too dumb to figure out how to use the freaking truck. So the guys just kind of stand around and they hope the homeowner sees them out front uh, and we wait and uh, we wait and uh, we're bored of waiting. So we just knock on the door. Hey, what's up, little man? Hey, I'm from You Better Pay Your Bill Towing. We're going about to tow his car right now. I'm with uh, You Better Pay Your Bills Towing. Improv, not your strong suit. I could imagine it's hard to stay composed when Seagal is whispering sweet, sexy nothings into their earpieces. This guy's deaf to think we're taking this ride. My red alert is changed. Well, that's what I'm talking about, just like that. Yeah, yeah, it's the change. Oh, yeah, just like that. Uh, pick your nipples a little bit. Uh, call me Burger King. But <laughs> eventually, the guy comes out. He comes out, we jump him. Miss your hands. Get on the ground. Get on the ground, man. He's going to jail in flip-flops. It should be a great time. Have fun with foot fungus. 
but all of this amazing acting has given Steven an idea. But I think we can take this to the next level. What do you have in mind, boss? What if he teaches them how to be better at it? That's going to be a challenge for everybody. So we head to an actor's studio. Maybe we'll get some lessons from a real actor. Basically what I'm told um, from Steven is, hey, I'm going to kind of give you guys some acting tips. Nope. Uh, we don't see anybody in there. I think Seagal rented the place out and told everybody, yeah, yeah. And he practices all sorts of scenarios. For the convincing ruse, You're, uh, to get that person to come outside or have them let us in. There's somebody at my door. Yeah, I'm John from uh, up the street. We're just trying to tell you what we heard them saying is Well, well then I need to come out and see what the hell's going on. With us, please. <laughs> at one point, they try it out in Spanish just for the lulls. I um, mean, any training's good training. That's kind of our philosophy. Oye, carnal. ¿Qué pasa, homie? Estábamos aquí afuera y vimos unos juras que pasaron por la por tu casa. Steven walks up. He's like, yeah. Oh, yeah. Uh, ¿qué, ¿Qué pasa? And that's it. And that's uh, that's the cue for the real men to take over. He does speak funny. He does. And it's not even his Spanish. John! Who? John, open the door, man. <laughs> Come on, white boy. I will be honest. This is the point where I couldn't figure out why they actually came to an actor's studio just to use a door. Maybe the door frame is full of acting juice and it helps them get the character. I don't know. But now, we are as good as Seagal at acting. We've mastered it, you know, a couple hours, already up there. So they decide to test it how a 12-year-old would with their parents' phone. I'm going to give it to Mikey, and I'm going to have him call Joaquin's wife. We're going to prank call this dude's wife. And it starts off pretty good. It was kind of putting me on the spot. Hey, all this training that I just learned, now let's put it to the test. Hey, I'm over uh, off of the Best Buy at, at over off of McDowell. I got a 72-inch TV, a big old Pioneer TV. He put half money up front, and then I need the other half. It was kind of like a weird deal. But much like a Seagal movie is one to do, things go off the rails pretty quickly. I guess he came in with a gun or something, and, 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 and he said he's, he's a cop. Let me call him, and then give me five minutes and call me back. The gun part was a little rough. I'm trying to say he was a cop. We went from... Did you order this TV to, yeah, your husband threatened to Best Buy with his gun. That's Improv 101, baby. Escalate, escalate, escalate. And the lady is actually buying it, too. Everyone is so excited. Seagal's like, yeah, yeah, be quiet. Yeah, be quiet. Is your refrigerator ready? What? Wait, let's get it. What, do you have the gun yet? And just like that, the gig is up. She knows it's Seagal now. You know, go through these different exercises. So I think for the first time, everybody did pretty good. Okay, so now we are clearly experts in improv. They watched 10 episodes of Whose Line Is It Anyways? They got this. They head out to arrest a mother-daughter duo who is wanted for drug trafficking. That may give my guys an opportunity to deploy different deception methods. Deploy deception? So... Why? Oh, Seagal, you could have taught them how to do that. But they approach the house. Seagal's like, hey, I screwed that light bulb so you can't see us out here. Get that light, buddy, get it. And don't forget, your name is John. Remember, your name is John. Your back to your back story, up to you. Hey, he did the hard work. He thought up a name, okay? It's John. The lady answers the door, and she's immediately like, I don't know. Yeah. It turns out that light is supposed to work, you know, and seeing somebody unscrew it is very suspicious. But John has had acting classes from Steve now, so he knows what to do. I don't know you. You don't know me? Just just open the open the first door. You don't have to open the second door. I know you. How do you know me? We did business a while ago. You know me. We did business uh, uh, a while ago, you know. But Seagal senses something fishy. We spidey sense. We catch a glimpse of discount Walter White in the background. And now it's time for Seagal's knowledge to come in. He has been trained for 82 years to be a cop. He knows that if they're calm, you have to escalate. He's got something in his hand. Let me see your hands, buddy. Let me see your hands now. Put it down. Good thing you put the gun down, buddy. Hey, Get the dog, dog in the back now. Dog. It works like a charm. Everybody is freaking out now. 
We arrest the lady. Walter White turned out to just have an airsoft gun. Steve doubles down on his escalation points. I had to be the one who would take the shot because I was the only one who could see him. I saw the gun. I told Buddy he's got a gun. I had your shot. I would do it. So we have mom, but daughter is not here. And we subtly ask her where her kid is, and she rats her child out so fast. No contest. Where's your daughter? I'll tell you right now where she is. And with that, we head off to find her and her blue Cadillac. Luckily, the superpowers of observation help us out once again. Is that a blue Cadillac right there? It's always so impressive when he points out things directly in front of us. What's your hands, man? Come on out here, get on the car. You have a warrant out for your arrest. You are under arrest. The daughter goes down without a fight, and all is resolved. Narcotics or anything like that. It's not for us to judge. Oh my lord, <laughs> that that lady has killed before. I don't want to spend any more time on this because she would come after me. But thank God, all those acting lessons paid off. Now we have the tools to pretend to be competent police officers. Really ruse them to open that door, man. Great performance, in my opinion. But that is it. You know what time it is. It is Red Eye Reacts. Yeah, that's what I call method acting right there, boy. Yeah, that's what I call music. Volume 80 clue. Oh, yeah, that, that tow truck driver totally doesn't look like a cop. I ain't got no lighter, no weed, no crack. I'm on probation now, so you know. Dude, you know, you yeah, no, no probation. Yes, you I is probation. Steven made a lot of movies, so I figured, okay. Take away the reality. Immediately, I got to go into, okay, let's get open-minded here. Well, you know, uh, you would think so. Yeah, you would think so. <laughs> <laughs> Seagal is having the time of his life. I'm going to give it to Mikey, and I'm going to have him call Joaquin's wife. Also, just <laughs> such perfect timing with the Capone's ad. Better watch your meatballs. Well, shit, my bro. I am watching my meatball, and he's in trouble. Get the mistakes out in training. Love you. So then when we go out tonight, <laughs> hopefully we don't have those mistakes. Yeah. Don't want to make those mistakes in the field, like, you know, telling a guy's wife he pulled a gun at a Best Buy. <laughs> okay, Seagal, remember, it's your time to deploy what you've learned. If they're calm, you have to be crazy. Good thing you put the gun down, buddy. And you stay away from the gun back there. Get the dog in the back now. Dog. I saw how aggressive you were being, and I thought, I got to go even bigger than that since we're doing bad cop, bad cop. Great performance, in my opinion. What, you want an award already? <laughs> well, me first. Me first. I was weird that shit. It's done. Finito. Thank you for watching. If you liked it, please subscribe to the channel. Like it itself. Leave some comments. If you want the power to vote on future movie reviews, head to the Patreon. You can get that power. It's as easy as that. Sign up. It helps support the channel. As always, a huge shout out to those people. We're currently discussing a pretty cool project that will probably be a Patreon exclusive thing. I just have to figure out how to do it, but I'm really excited about it. If you want to join the Discord channel, that's down below. If you want to wait, Please. Oh, hold on, someone's at the door. Let me see your hand. Let oh me my see God, he's found me. Oh, okay, guys, I gotta run. I gotta run right now. I gotta find somewhere else to hide. Uh, you know what to do, and until next time, stay happy and stay healthy. Is the is the refrigerator ready? <laughs> well, wait, let's get it. Well, do you have lasagna? <laughs>